Today we present a spectacular mystery that will make even the most brilliant minds in the world of astrophysics sweat. Get ready, because in our video, you'll witness a mystery that will turn our previous ideas of the universe upside down. Are you ready to dive deep into the mysteries of the cosmos and face the inexplicable phenomena that fire our curiosity and imagination? Then buckle up, because we're taking you on an exciting journey through the dark and unexplored corners of the universe that amaze even the greatest experts. Stay tuned, because what you're about to learn is guaranteed to captivate you. The Hubble Constant if we turn back the wheel of time by about 100 years, we'll land in an era when a tremendous tremor swept through the ranks of space explorers. Together with a colleague, the American astronomer Edwin Hubble had devoted himself in the late 1920s to the arduous task of analyzing the light of dozens of galaxies at the Mount Wilson Observatory in California. At the end of this series of investigations was a groundbreaking conclusion as the Belgian, Georges Lemaitre, had postulated several years earlier, the light from the remote collections of stars was indeed redshifted. By finding that virtually all galaxies drift away from us and that their velocity increases with distance, Hubble showed that the universe is a construct that has always been expanding. This fact, which today belongs to the astronomical general knowledge, amounted to a scientific revolution at the time a conception that a certain Albert Einstein initially categorically rejected. In order to maintain the image of a rigid, unchanging cosmos, the genius had even inserted the cosmological constant into his equations, a decision that Einstein later described as the, quote, greatest folly of his life. But how can we actually find out at what speed our universe is expanding in detail? Well, in order to package this process in suitable numbers, the experts make use of the so-called Hubble constant. As one of the fundamental quantities of cosmology, this describes the current expansion rate of the cosmos. However, since strictly speaking, it's not a constant, it is sometimes replaced by the term Hubble parameter. To determine the exact value of this parameter, researchers systematically analyze the distance and apparent velocity of astronomical objects. However, in order to determine the expansion rate of the universe, distant objects in particular must be observed, an extremely demanding task that also leaves a large margin for uncertainty. From the past measurements of ESA's Planck satellite, it became clear that the exact value of the Hubble constant settles at about 67.15 kilometers per second per megaparsec. A brief classification, the length unit megaparsec corresponds to approximately 3.3 million light years. So that means a galaxy 3.3 million light years away is moving from us at a rate of 67.15 kilometers per second. A collection of stars that is 10 times further away from us is therefore also traveling 10 times as fast. The problem? Recent measurements showed that these values simply do not coincide with reality. But what is the background of this unexpected deviation? Does this mean that we must throw our usual conception over the cosmos completely out the window? An upheaval. But first things first, why is it actually so important for experts to know the exact value of the Hubble constant? Well, on the one hand, the expansion rate can give us a preview of the further development and fate of the cosmos. On the other hand, it also gives us a mathematical insight into the past. If we look at the expansion of the universe backwards, we can calculate our way back to the birth of the universe. As a consequence, the Hubble constant can provide us with fundamental information about the age, the expansion, and the composition of the cosmos, if it has been determined correctly, of course. The observations in our cosmic environment revealed a strange contradiction in this respect. Thus, the investigations showed that the value of the Hubble constant in our proximity does not amount to 67.15, but up to 74 kilometers per second per megaparsec. 
Still, other measurements, using the brightness of supernovae or variable stars to determine the distance, yielded values between 72 and 74 kilometers per second per megaparsec. Before the world of astronomical research was enriched by a mystery, Adam Rees and his team at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore had taken a close look at about 70 Cepheids. These are stars whose brightness fluctuates more or less regularly. Based on the stellar flickering, scientists were able to determine the distance of the celestial bodies and against this background, also the expansion rate of the universe. If one follows the calculations of the experts, this lies with 74.03 kilometers per second per megaparsec, with which it exceeds all values determined before. The fundamental question that astronomers have been racking their brains over ever since is therefore, why do we get different values for a fundamental parameter of cosmology simply because we measure differently? In theory, the result should always be the same. To all appearances, something is wrong. However, this should not apply to the actual universe, because casually said, the cosmos should not care much about what the scientists calculate in their earthly research facilities. No, the question is rather, whether the model with which we describe the expansion of the universe so far is really the correct one. A profound insight. If the expansion of the universe is not homogeneous, that is, if some parts of the universe are moving away from us faster than other objects located at the same distance, then we would be faced with an asymmetry, a fact that would also mean that the cosmos in its entirety cannot be calculated back to a uniform starting point. Is it conceivable then that the roots of this mystery lie dormant in the Big Bang itself? Did the common emergence of matter, space, and time from a preceding singularity in truth not proceed symmetrically? Were the asymmetries we can see today in the distribution of galaxies and structures created by the force of gravity and other physical forces? Or was this pattern already laid in their cosmic cradle? But if the idea of the asymmetrical emergence actually coincides with reality, wouldn't it then be conceivable that the starting point of the universe was not 13.8 billion years before our time at all, but earlier or later? A question which inevitably goes along with the variance of the recorded measuring data. Now, one could think that it would not be further significant whether the cosmos is 15 or 12 billion years old at the end. Unfortunately, it's not quite that simple. Since the Hubble constant, or the expansion of the universe, also affects many other aspects of space research, we would have to question and rethink everything that touches on this subject area. The Search for Answers The aforementioned study author, Adam Rees, stated about his much-publicized discovery that the discrepancy in the Hubble constant could become one of the most exciting developments in cosmology in decades. Since this fact has been investigated and confirmed several times in the meantime, it's considered impossible that simple measurement errors underlie the collected data. But then, what are the ways and means to explain the puzzling deviation? One approach is based on the influence of the ominous dark energy. This hypothetical form of energy, which has not yet been experimentally proven, was postulated in the late 1990s to explain the accelerated expansion of the universe. In very simplified terms, dark energy counteracts gravity, driving individual celestial bodies and structures ever more forcefully apart. Even more exciting, however, is an attempt to explain the reasons for the variance of the measured data, not at all in our cosmos. As the published study shows, it's theoretically possible that the deviations of the Hubble constant are created by a parallel universe. In detail, this strange world would interact with ours, however, only on the basis of gravity. This assumption, which seems to be difficult to imagine at first, has already been discussed seriously in the ranks of researchers for a long time. If one follows the theory of chaotic inflation, which the Russian cosmologist Andrei Lind brought into the field in 1986, then the majority of the universe continues to expand eternally inflationary. This process would come to a standstill only in some bubble-shaped partial areas, 
in which then the individual sub-universes form. These would contain, again, completely different values of the nature constants and consequently also individual physical laws. Whether the recorded measuring data are really based on the influence of an invisible mirror world can be neither confirmed nor denied at present. In order to confirm this hypothesis, it is indispensable to track down further evidence for the existence of such a parallel universe. Before then, we look spellbound on those realizations which will attain the researchers in this connection in the future. And now we're interested in your opinion. What goes through your mind in view of the mysterious deviation of the Hubble constant? Should we rethink our ideas about the formation and expansion of the universe from the ground up? Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comments below. While you're at it, remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you never miss another one of our videos. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of outer space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. And with that, thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you next time.